hello citizens of Raccoon City. Now we all love having the Umbrella Corporation's headquarters in our town. They provide jobs for the science sector with their research, the construction sector with their many underground lab complexes, and goodness knows what the crest puzzle industry would do without their many old mansion conversions. And where would we be without the 5% friends and family discount on their biological weapons? Dangerously unarmed, that's where. But being so close to Umbrella's head offices does mean we're at greater risk than most of exposure to biochemical agents, which could very well turn you into a zombie, tyrants, liquor, uh, killer plant, whatever that thing is. So it's important to be safe out there. Remember, the best defense against infection is knowledge. And first aid spray, that wouldn't hurt. The first virus you should be aware of is the T virus. Symptoms include being itchy, finding things tasty, bits falling off you, uh, reduced mobility, some cannibalism and light death. If you suspect a loved one to be infected with the T virus, make sure they get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water, and then when they're full of water and asleep, shoot them in the head. In rare cases, the T virus may cause its host to mutate into a monster known as a tyrant. In these instances, the suggested treatment is a rocket launcher. Next we have the G virus. Uh, the warning signs for G virus infection include your arm becoming massive and growing a huge bloodshot eye out of your shoulder. This may impact on your ability to perform simple daily tasks like grocery shopping or operating a motor vehicle. However, your ability to destroy a SWAT team single-handedly will be greatly improved. Official guidelines for treatment of the G-Virus are as follows. 1. Lure the patient into a self-destructing science lab. 2. Escape on a train. Now, this is a pretty nasty one. The T. veronica virus is a mixture of ant virus genomes with the progenitor virus. If you get infected with the T. veronica virus, you'll probably end up with big whippy arms like this unfortunate guy here. Also, you'll go all grey and shout a lot. Luckily, treatment is fairly straightforward. Just shoot the patient in his giant exposed heart. Or if you insist on keeping the patient alive, you can always put them into cryogenic suspension for 15 years, although that brings its own set of problems like flaming blood and transforming into a dragonfly monster. In this instance, your best bet is probably paracetamol or a linear launcher. <laughs> of course, not all of Umbrella's viruses are harmful. Some are beneficial, like the prototype virus that gives you incredible superhuman strength, speed, agility, endurance, and a healing factor. Uh, un unfortunately, only this guy has it, and he works for Umbrella and no one else is allowed to have it. Uh, also, he did come into the office one time and killed like 14 people. But yeah, Umbrella aren't all bad. Oh, really? Of his injuries? Okay, 15 people. <laughs> now, maybe you have a loved one at home who's acting differently to normal. Terse, irritable, shouting a lot in Spanish, their head occasionally exploding to be replaced with a writhing tentacle. Chances are they've been infected with a plaga parasite. Pluggers alter their host's behavior by attaching to the nervous system, and they're pretty tricky to get rid of. Light will do it, so stock up on flashbangs, but that will also kill the host, so if you're fond of them, you want to get a hold of a specialist type of radiation treatment machine. Uh, there's only one that we're aware of, and it's in Spain, so... You know, we're in... Uh... Where, where even is Raccoon City? I don't know. I don't know, I thought you did. Look out, look out the window, where are we? Just do, do it on Google Maps. So, those are some of the viruses we've had to deal with in the past, but we're getting reports of a new strain that you might want to be aware of. C virus. Really? Oh, man. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this can affect people a number of different ways. If you inhale it as a gas, you turn into a zombie, uh, similar to the effects of the T virus. Uh, if you're injected with it, you undergo mutation into something called a Javo, which makes you grow extra eyes and monster arms, and sometimes your head turns into a beehive. Really? Oh, okay, good news. Uh, it says that if infected, you don't always turn into a Javo. 
Uh oh, but if you don't turn into a Java, you turn into a chrysalid where you get covered in a fleshy cocoon and give birth to a needle monster. Uh, you know what? I actually, I don't think I want this job anymore. Um, thanks anyway. I'm probably just going to go back to, to games journalism. No, no, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, thanks. See you around. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I can sh I'll show myself out. Uh, thanks. Yeah, no, I'll see you around. No, 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 don't worry about me. I'll see myself out. That's fine. It got into your blood, burrowed into your brain. Countless lives. We're both gonna die! Altered in an instant. But that's ancient history. We were just getting warmed up.